All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start off saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. A double honor to our apostles, elders, great millstone, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there, teaching the word of truth and sincerity, uh, making everybody's living sacrifice for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, to you. I say Shalom. It's the brother Amar from the branch of GMS Cleveland coming back at, coming back at you with another video. And uh, real quick, this is going to be short and sweet and to the point. It's going to be a kind of like a quick hit. And it's just going to be the, the whole chapter of Psalms, uh, of Psalms 5, or Psalms the 5th chapter. And I'm just going to get right into it. Um, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, to the chief musician upon Nehiloth, a psalm of David, give ear, to my, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. It says, hearken unto the voice of my cry, my king. It says, it says my king and my God. For unto thee will I pray, man. Yeah, so, you know, when you're making your prayer, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This goes for myself. This is a chapter, Lord, what and I keep in mind when I um when I when I decide when the Lord put the Spirit on me to make a prayer or, you know, right before I make a prayer, uh, you know, to you know, ask the Lord, man, to consider, you know, consider, you know, what you asked him for, man. To consider, you know, your prayer, you know what I'm saying? Because when we throw up prayers, man, you know, the you know, the the Allahim, you know what I mean? They take him to you know how they take him to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, you know what I'm saying? Because when you read the book of Tobit, um, Tobit actually um, made reference to that, you know. When you go to the book of Tobit, I'm not gonna get it, but uh, Raphael, Raphael the archangel, he actually uh, you know actually uh, told Tobit that or Tobias, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like it, not Tobit but Tobias, you know what I'm saying? It, Tobit or Tobias, one of the two, man, you know. But um. He tell he told him that he you know he sent he, you know he, he he gives the prayers up or sends the prayers up to you know to the Lord man you know what I mean so when we are making these prayers man you know what I mean we we asking the Heavenly Father basically to consider what we're praying for man you know what I mean brothers you know you know obviously more um more uh more knowledge more understanding you know uh, um you know or a little bit of more money in your pocket you know what I mean to you know your daily bread. Or you know, or, or better, you know, living situations, or or just for more strength, you know what I mean, to handle these um, you know, these burdens or these uh, you know, these you know things that come upon you, man. You know, sometimes when your spirit get heavy, man, you know, you you, know, you kind of feel like you're losing it. But you know what I'm saying? Um, and this is spirit too. Actually, uh, Elder Elder uh, Kazak made a, a video about uh, Sirach 14, I think two, which I'm gonna bless the man that uh, whose conscience have not condemned him. Something around that, that those lines, but yeah, man, you know what I'm saying. So basically, you just want the Lord to have mercy upon you know mercy upon you, but also hearken unto you know your prayer as well. But this is uh, verse two. It says, "Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto Thee will I pray." It says, "My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the in the morning will I direct my prayer unto Thee and will look upon look up." It says, for thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of the uh, verses I like in particular out of this chapter. You know what I'm saying? I actually got it highlighted in my sword, um, you know, my actual Bible. But, you know what I mean? Um, it says, the most high is not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, man. It says, neither shall, neither shall evil dwell with thee, man. You know what I mean? So the, these things that take place upon earth that these people indulge in, man, which is, uh, for the most part, the average person is is anti Messiah. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't follow the law, statutes, commandments, or even attempt. You know what I'm saying? But um, basically, shit. Basically, uh, what I was getting at is that, um, you know, the Most High is not a God to have pleasure in wickedness, man. So you know, eventually he's gonna destroy this place for, you know, for his evil and his transgressions, and uh, we just gotta wait. You know what I'm saying? Waiting to that appointed time. But uh, I'm going to kind of speed it up a little bit because I'm running out of time. But it's uh, verse 5, verse five, Psalms 5 and 5. It says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. It says, Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. And that started with Esau, Edom, and two-thirds of our own people. And these other heathens, man. All right? Because these people are quick to shed blood. All right? They have no mercy or... Uh, or no compassion for their fellow man, you know what I'm saying? Because two thirds have the mindset of uh, Esau Edom, and uh, you know we already know how Esau get down. He is a man that that you know that 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 doesn't mind shedding blood. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it is a sport to him, 
Verse 7, it says, But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. It says, verse 8, Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. It says, Make thy way straight before my face. You know what I'm saying? And this is another beautiful prayer that um, King David, um, well, no, it's actually, not, yeah, it's, 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 it's King David's song. But this is another uh, beautiful prayer in a, a verse that, uh, you know, he prayed for. He said, lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, man. Because sometimes you kind of feel lost and you don't know, you know, what to do sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, like, concerning, like, certain carnal matters. So sometimes you got to cast lots on particular things. But the point I'm making out of all that is that, you know, you want the Lord to guide guide you in his way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. Open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. And that's Esau Edom, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, the, the most, scripture say the most high is not, at, the most high is, is not at all in his thoughts. He's not thinking about the Heavenly Father. You know, he's, he's thinking about himself, man. You know what I'm saying? And his wickedness and how he can... Go about deceiving people, man. You know what I mean? And destroying. All right. Scripture says he is as death. This is verse 10. It says, Destroy thou them, we howl, let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee, man. And this is another beautiful prayer that King David prayed, you know what I mean, concerning these these people, man. He said, Destroy thou them, man. Let, their let them fall by their own counsels, man. Cast them out of... And the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee, man. Yeah, so they, they're against the Heavenly Father's will, man. So we ultimately ask the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemal Shah, to destroy them for basically, you know what I mean, for that and a, and a multitude of other things, man. But mainly because they're against him. They're against righteousness, man. And he has to go. You know what I'm saying? This man is, is completely rebellious and he's, no, he's not going to slow down. This is verse 11. It says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. It says, Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, man. For thou, Lord, will bless the, the righteous with favor without thou compass him as a shield, man. So ultimately the Heavenly Father is gonna bless the elect, man. We just gotta, you know, keep being patient, keep pushing his word and keep, you know what I mean, living by the by by his way, man. Living by the law of commandments to the best of our abilities. And uh, having faith in him, man, that eventually he's going to come through on his word. Because we see this place crumbling. We just got to hold fast to that which we have, man, like the scripture speak about. So with that, I pray this edifying. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it wasn't nothing major. It was just a you know quick psalm. Sometimes I like to hit these psalms because, you, know, you know, it's a lot of meat in these psalms, man. You know what I'm saying? It might seem simple, but it's, you know, it's, it's needful. Milk is needful for the bones as well. But with that, I'm going to say shout out